All right, so I want to take a little bit of time today to talk about add the addition and subtraction of complex numbers. This is not a really hard thing to do. So I'm not, I don't want to spend a ton of time on it, but I want to make sure that you see it. And I want to make sure that you see some of the most common mistakes that are made. The first, the most common mistake is this, and please don't be offended. Um, this is me actually trying to help you with the same mistake I'm most likely to make. I hear some people say, oh, just do FOIL. So may maybe you're cussing me right now, maybe you're not, but the truth of it is we forget. And here the operator here is addition. The operator here is addition, not multiplication. So just slow down for a second and ask yourself, what are you being asked to do before you get started at it? So short of that, there's something it's called satisfying the parentheses. There, I don't see any exponents here or here, so there's no problem there. And I don't see a coefficient out in front. So what I do to help my brain uh, rationalize what I'm going to do is I just pretend that there's a positive one and a positive one here, and then I just distribute them through. And if it seems silly to you, I apologize, but it helps me to decrease the number of mistakes that I'm liable to make. So it doesn't change anything, but there it is, right? This plus sign right here is this one right here. And then it's just 7 plus i. And then you would do the same thing you do in any other algebra, which is that you add like terms. So these are real numbers, so 2 plus 7 is 9. Well, I almost forgot what that was. And these are the imaginary numbers, but if they were variables, you'd add them anyway, wouldn't you? So you have three i's here and one i there, which is 4i, isn't it? So that, that's really all. And remember that complex numbers are presented this way. A, the real part, plus the imaginary part. And they're supposed to be given in that order. So there's that. All right? Let's just do a couple more. And, you know, just try to keep in mind that all you really want to do here is add um, matching things together. Right? So here, this is one here, uh, 25 plus 15i minus 25 minus 6i. Same mistake I'm most likely to make is the, is the one that I described before. The second most likely mistake I'm most likely to make is not to distribute completely. And I'm telling you, this, is, this mistake is prolific with mathematicians. So there's a positive one out here. So I'm going to pretend there's a positive one here. Here there's a negative one. And I'm going to distribute my negative one completely. I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to get beat on something this simple. Well, frankly, the way I usually do. So here we go. 1 times 25 is just 25. 1 times 15i is 15i. Here's where I'm taking my time with this negative 1 here. Negative 1 times positive 25 is negative 25, but I'm not done distributing. Negative 1 times negative 6i is positive 6i. Now I'll gather my like terms. 25 minus 25 is 0. 15i plus 6i is 21i, isn't it? is 21i. So I, I really do hope this has been helpful for you. This is not especially difficult. I guess the couple things I'd leave you with is one, take your time, ask yourself what the operator is. Here it's subtraction, here it's addition. Do not assume just because you see parentheses and uh, binomials that you're going to be doing FOIL. Please take your time. It's a mistake that we both know has cost us tons of points. Uh, and secondly, is take your time, and in the case of subtraction, make sure you distribute completely. Take your time, be meticulous, and make sure your answer is in the form of A plus B I. All right, good work, you guys. Proud of you.